food source, but he hates them, so he will uh, go after them pretty hard. Uh, this is my oldest Falcon. He's, I think he's 18 this year. Wow. Um, he's been with me since he was a downy, since he was literally oh. a day old. And raised him indoors, so he's an imprint. He imprinted on me. All the birds that I work with are coming out of breeding facilities, and in his case, I picked him up very young so that I could do the imprinting process with him. So he thinks of me, um, initially it was like a mother figure, and as he matured, that eventually morphed into mate. So as far as he's concerned, um, he and I are a bonded pair. And that works out very well. When I arrive here in the morning, um, usually one of the first things I do is release him. He spends anywhere from this morning, it was a half an hour, yesterday it was two hours, some days it's three hours. Um, he will be liberated at this facility for an extended period of time so he can repel crows and ravens on a need to basis as they come in. And hopefully if I can exclude them in the morning, um, we'll have a much quieter afternoon as is what we're shooting for. So peregrine falcon, uh, these are often considered the world's fastest living animals. We have um, some kind of anecdotal information as well as some more recent, um, some pretty good data on speeds in terms of how fast these guys can actually fly. So peregrine falcons fly at about 60 miles per hour this way, which is relatively fast, but they're there are other organisms, in fact, there's a cat in Africa that can outrun a, a peregrine at level flight, basically. Um, but what peregrines are really adept at, and the way that they can really enhance their speed, is by incorporating gravity. So by climbing up high, and then using a gravity assist, they can juice their speed by about 200 miles per hour, depending on how high they go. There's been a guy in Washington State that was jumping out of airplanes with a peregrine in order to quantify speed. He was able to clock his at 263 miles per hour in a vertical dive. That's why we call these the world's fastest. These birds are really, if you're looking for a minimal drag, if you're looking for perfect aerodynamic performance in a flighted machine, this may well be your go-to prototype if you also want heavy weaponry. If you look at like the F-16s, the, the, the military, the, the Air Force fighting jets, very much modeled after a pair of Falcons. A lot of similarities. So this is minimal drag. These birds, um, they're interested in speed because they're very specialized in their prey base. These are bird hunting specialists. They don't want to catch mice and rabbits and squirrels. They're all about catching birds and they prefer to catch them up in the air. Have a slip. Okay. Better. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Uh -huh. I really appreciate your help. Uh -huh. no um, so, uh, being able to go fast is a tactical advantage for a falcon that is interested in catching other birds that are quick as well. Getting out of the way of a 200 mile an hour projectile is difficult. So. Um, peregrine falcons have some other types of adaptations that enable them to be fantastic predators. Everybody's heard about the vision of a raptor probably. They're stupendous in terms of their vision. It's really hard to quantify how well they can see and I, I, you know, I read reams of information about raptors. I've been working with hawks since I was nine years old. Um, one of the things that we read about is that they can read a newspaper from 100 yards, which... Okay, um, in my world when I'm hunting, I carry 10 power binoculars of a high quality. And um, what I've noticed is that my falcons, when they disappear from vision in a clear blue sky beyond the range of my 10th hour, they still have a command of me. They see me. In other words, their vision is better than mine with the aid of 10th hour.